With my object selected here inside of InDesign, we can see up in the Properties panel its X and Y position just here. Now I can move this thing around by tapping the arrow keys on my keyboard and note that every time it's moving, it's doing so by one millimeter. Now, if you want to move 10 times this distance, each time you press an arrow key, just hold down the shift key. So with my shift key held down, every time I tap the right arrow key, it's jumping 10 millimeters. Now the distance moved each time an arrow is pressed can actually be changed. Here on a Mac, InDesign, Preferences, Units and Increments. On a Windows machine, you'll find these at the bottom of the Edit menu. In the Keyboard Increments section, Cursor Key is what we need to change, and you can see mine is currently set to 1mm. So if I say set this to 5mm, choosing OK, Every time I tap an arrow key, it's now jumping five millimeters. And if I were to include the shift key, it's now jumping 50 millimeters each time. Now let's say you're working on a project that requires some very fine precision movement. No worries. Let's get back into those preferences and change the cursor key value to something nice and small, maybe 0.01 millimeters. Choosing OK. Now I am repeatedly tapping the right arrow key right now. The movement on screen is imperceptible, but you can see up in the properties panel just there, the X position is changing. I'll wrap things up just there. I hope that helps you better move your objects around here inside of InDesign. Catch you later.